Hi, my name is Pixie and I'm from Ireland. My parents are the most controlling parents on the planet. But before I tell you my story, please like and subscribe to our amazing channel. Why are my parents so controlling, you ask? Well… When I was 8 years old, my parents carried me to the mall to get a pair of skates. While they were talking to the sales clerk, I saw this cute puppy at the store entrance. I went over and patted the puppy, but then it ran away from me. Being 8, of course, I chased the puppy. It was all fun and games, till the puppy ran down some stairs and I followed. I tripped and tumbled down the stairs and must have blacked out for a few minutes because when I opened my eyes, a crowd of people had surrounded me. I looked around and suddenly my parents burst through the crowd. Oh, Pixie, are you okay? Mom hugged me, but when I tried to get up, my ankle hurt. Ouch! Let's get you to the hospital. What mom and dad thought to be just a visit to the hospital to get my ankle checked out turned into a meeting with social services, who reported my parents for negligence. A judge sentenced them to six months of parental classes. My parents were furious. Now, at age 17, mom and dad still treated me like an 8-year-old kid. Something about them not wanting any of my bad decisions to reflect on them as parents. Today was the football game at school, and I really wanted to go, but of course, my controlling mother did not want me to go. I glared at mom, who was basting a turkey on the kitchen counter. Mom, all of my friends are going to the football game! You can't keep me here forever! I can keep you here till you're 18. I grabbed the tray from mom's hands and flung it to the ground. I hate it here! I stormed off to my bedroom and slammed the door behind me. I was totally tired of my parents telling me what to eat, what to wear, and what type of music to listen to. I wasn't even allowed to date. All I wanted to do was go to the game to see Sloane, the cutest boy in the entire school. Over the years, my parents didn't allow me to do anything. But through it all, I had my best friend, Heather, to confide in. So as usual, I gave her a call to complain about my parents. You know I've been crushing on Sloane for three years. And I also know Sloane is out of your league. Oh, really? Girl, Sloane is the captain of the football team. He's at the top of the food chain at school and you're forgetting one very important detail. Sloane has a girlfriend. Minor details. I'll just break them up and you'll help me. Break them up? Why not? People break up all the time. Pixie, I'm not going to help you break up Sloane and Jana because you want dibs on Sloan. Fine, I'll do it myself. I hung up on Heather. If she didn't want to help me, I'd find a way to do it myself. The next day at school, as I walked through the hall, Sloan and Jana walked by. I smiled at Sloan, and guess what? He smiled back. I was so into the moment that I didn't notice a group of boys coming out of the science lab with a huge paper mache volcano. I bumped into them and fell with a thud to the floor. If that wasn't embarrassing enough, the volcano fell on top of me and some of the goo from inside the volcano splashed into my eyes. I wiped my eyes, but it was still blurry when someone extended their hand to me and I took it. Are you okay? Was that Sloane? Thank you, Sloane. Laughter surrounded me and my face grew red. As if, loser. Your knight in shining armor is Geeky Galvin. I wiped my eyes again and there stood Geeky Garvin with his acne-covered face holding a few napkins towards me. I looked in Sloane's direction. Was that pity in his eyes? It felt as though my heart had broken into a million pieces. I covered my face with my hands and ran away. Run, Pixie, run! Another roar of laughter escaped the crowd. I ran into the bathroom and sat in one of the stalls. After a few minutes, the bathroom door opened and a group of girls came in chattering. It was Jana and her minions. So, Jana, how was your date with Tegan? You went on a date with Sloane's best friend? Of course. I did it and it was worth it. He's a much better kisser than Sloane. And he took me to the fanciest restaurant in town. Don't you feel bad for doing that to Sloane? No, should I? I'm the most popular girl in school. Why should I only date one guy? Jana and her friends giggled. The bell rang and they left the bathroom. I knew what I needed to do. The next day, as I walked into the cafeteria, my eyes fell on Sloane and Jana. I sat a few tables away, but I kept my eyes on Jana. All I needed to do was catch Jana and Tegan in a compromising situation, and Sloane would be all mine. My chance came 15 minutes later, when Jana kissed Sloane and walked out of the cafeteria. With my phone in hand, my heart pounded as I followed Jana, who disappeared under the bleachers. I tiptoed towards the bleachers 
And there was Jonna making out with Tegan. I pressed record on my phone and began taping. They were so into each other that they didn't even see me. Suddenly, a ball slammed into the side of my head. Ouch! I fell to the ground and my phone fell from my hands. Tegan and Jonna turned and saw me. What are you doing here, loser? Jonna looked at the phone on the ground next to me. Were you videoing us? N no, I, I, I wasn't videotaping anything. I grabbed my phone and stood up. You little liar. Jonna tried to grab my phone, but I ran. A few minutes later, I burst into the cafeteria breathless and sent the video to Sloane. I slid under a table just as Jonna and Tegan entered the cafeteria. Where is she? She scanned the cafeteria looking for me. I watched as Sloane checked his phone. He looked shocked, then angry, and I smiled smugly. I couldn't believe my plan was coming together. Jana, what is this? Sloane walked over to Jana, and I got up from under the table and sat on a chair to get a better view. What is it, Sloane? Sloane shoved his phone into Jana's hands. Jana grimaced as she looked at the phone. This? What is this? Are you trying to make me look like an idiot? Jana's eyes locked with mine, and I smiled. Babe, it's not what it looks like. Sloane walked over to Tegan. And as for you... I watched in horror as Sloane punched Tegan in the nose and Tegan doubled over. Sloane, stop this! Jonna then turned and pointed in my direction. You! This is all your fault! Jonna ran over to me and grabbed me before I could get through the cafeteria door. Chairs and tables crashed to the ground as both fights ensued. Fight! 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 fight. fight. Suddenly, the cafeteria doors burst open, and Mr. Hickley marched into the cafeteria and pulled us all apart. What in the world is going on here? Mr. Hickley pulled Jonna and me apart, then Tegan and Sloan. The four of you to my office. Now. Mr. Hickley gave us detention for a week. The next day, after detention, I waited until Sloan was alone before I approached him. Hi, Sloan. Hi, Dixie. Actually, it's Pixie. There was an awkward silence between us. Then, I did it. Do you want to go on a date with me? Honestly, I expected him to say no, but I was over the moon with what he said next. Sure, why not? There's a new restaurant I'd like to check out. I'll pick you up at 7 p.m. on Saturday. That night as I lay in bed, I couldn't believe it. I, Pixie Ryan, had a date with THE Sloan Walsh. Now, I had to find a way to go on the date without my parents finding out. On Saturday night, I lay under the covers when Mom walked into my bedroom. Honey, I'm so sorry you're not feeling well. Uncle Thomas will surely miss you at his party tonight. Are you sure you don't want us to stay home with you? No, I'll be okay. You and Uncle Thomas only see each other once a year. And someone has to beat Aunt Maggie at karaoke tonight. Mom laughed. She kissed me on the forehead. Good night, Pixie. Call us if you need anything. I will. Mom turned off the light and closed my bedroom door behind her. As soon as my parents drove off, I jumped out of bed and turned on the light. I removed my robe. Under it, I wore a cute black mini dress. If my parents saw me in a dress this short, they'd have my head. A few minutes later, the doorbell rang. I grabbed my purse and ran downstairs to open the door. When I opened it, there stood Sloane looking as handsome as ever with a bouquet of flowers in his hands. You look beautiful. These are for you. Sloane handed me the flowers. Thank you. They're beautiful. Are you ready to get this date started? Most definitely. Our first date was amazing. On the way to the restaurant, Sloane and I laughed and chatted as though we'd known each other our whole lives. At one point in the car, he even held my hand and kissed it as we drove. When we got to the restaurant, he pulled out my chair and even helped me order because the entire menu was in French. Sloane said his grandfather was from Paris and he visited him over the summer. After dinner, we drove to the beach and walked along the sand underneath the moonlight while holding hands. When Sloane walked me to my front door, I must admit that I was a bit nervous. Thank you. Tonight was perfect. I had a great time. I had a great time as well. I'd like to take you out again if that's okay with you. I'd like that. Sloane leaned over to kiss me. I was so nervous. Just as our lips were about to touch, the unimaginable happened. I let out the loudest, smelliest belch ever. I was mortified. Sloane looked at me blankly for a few seconds before he burst out laughing. <laughs> that was a good one. I breathed a sigh of relief and couldn't help but laugh at myself. Sloane then pulled me into a kiss. I'll see you at school on Monday. Enjoy the rest of your night. I entered the house and raced towards my bedroom. I couldn't wait to tell Heather about my night. 
I called Heather a few times before she answered. I apologized for how I treated her and she forgave me. I told her all about my night. So you really have Sloane. How do you feel? I feel awesome. It's going to be a bit difficult hiding him from my parents, but he's worth it. Heather and I chatted for a while longer and then hung up. I couldn't wait to go back to school the following week. Monday morning when I arrived at school, Sloan stood by my locker and I smiled. Hi, Pixie. Hi, Sloan. Sloan leaned in and kissed me. When I opened my eyes, suddenly Jonna was there. Her hands were on her hips and she tapped her foot impatiently as her eyes bore straight into my soul. Can I walk you to class? I nodded and Sloan draped his arm around my shoulder. Throughout the day, Jonna found ways to make my day miserable. First, she spilled her smoothie on my clothes during the second period. Oops. Then after science, when I got to my locker, it was sealed shut. <laughs> Can't get your locker open, loser. In math class, Mr. Johnson told Jonna to get rid of her gum and guess where she got rid of it. Yup, you guessed it. She stuck it in my hair. I had to grab some scissors and cut it out. After lunch, the janitor left a bucket of dirty water in the hallway. Jonna snatched my bag from my shoulder and dangled it over the bucket. Pixie, your bag looks a little dirty. Let me clean that up for you. Jonna dumped my book bag in it while her chump friends laughed. That afternoon, I spoke to Sloan about it and he said he'd take care of it. The next day, I saw Jonna and Sloan in a heated argument. When he approached me, he smiled. You don't need to worry about Jana anymore. Let's just say her father works for my father and I told her if she ever messed with you again, her father wouldn't have a job. Thanks, babe. I kissed Sloan. Our relationship was great. It was a bit tricky at times having to sneak around, but I guess that was one thing that made it so much fun. The fact that I wasn't allowed to do it. But then, something happened that altered my future forever. It was the school's Halloween dance. Sloan was Batman and I was Catwoman. At the Halloween dance, we were having a great time. I went to get Sloan and I some drinks, but when I returned, Sloan was kissing someone dressed in the same costume that I was. Sloan! Sloan looked up in shock. I pulled the costume off from the mysterious Catwoman, and Jonna had the biggest smirk on her face. I'm sorry, babe, I thought it was you. Sloan, Jonna is a whole foot taller than I am. How could you not know it wasn't me? Just take me home. I've got a better idea. Why don't we take you home? My eyes widened. I turned slowly and came face to face with my very angry parents. Mom, Dad, what are you doing here? You're asking us what we're doing here while you're in that tight leather outfit looking like a stripper? You're leaving now, and your father and I decided to send you to boarding school until your 21st birthday. Jonna gave me a wave as Mom grabbed me by the arm and dragged me to the car as Dad followed behind. Mom and Dad pulled me out of school, and two days later, we were loading the car with my things to send me off to boarding school. As I packed my suitcase, in the back of the car, Heather walked up. Hi, Pixie. I'm sorry that you have to leave. So am I. I guess I deserve it. I shouldn't have meddled with Jonna and Sloane's relationship. Just then, Mom walked out of the house. Hi, Heather. How are you? Pixie, honey, are you all packed? If we're going to catch our flight, we need to leave now. I sighed and hugged Heather. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. I promise to write every day. Heather and I pulled away, tears streaming down both our faces. Mom and Dad got into the car and I hopped into the back seat. I rolled my window down. The car was about to roll off when Heather tapped the trunk of the car and Dad stopped. Heather ran to my window and hugged me. Then she whispered something that made my pores raise. Pixie, one more thing before you go. I told your parents about you and Sloane. I was the one who sent them pictures of you at the Halloween dance. Jana was just the icing on the cake. Now that you're out of the picture, he's all mine. Heather pulled away and Dad drove off. I was beyond shocked. My own best friend? She was the one who'd betrayed me? To say I was shocked was an understatement. Do you think I deserved what Heather did to me? Leave your answers in the comments below.